AITA for accusing my husband of cheating and giving me chlamydia after he accused me of having an affair with his best friend, my, 27F, husband, 40M, and I have been together for nearly 4 years, and he has never been anything less than a kind and loving partner, until recently, around 2 years ago, he hired a college student, Nick, 24M, as an intern for his company, before eventually promoting him to a full-time employee, they get along very well together, and my husband speaks highly of him and considers him one of his closest friends, after meeting him, it was very easy to understand understand why. He's very charismatic, a good listener, and just generally fun to be around. For some reason, despite their close friendship, my husband always disliked it when I talked to Nick and would constantly use any excuse to get us to stop talking. I have never seen Nick as anything more than like a brother to me, but no matter how much I reassured my husband, he was adamant that I shouldn't spend too much time with Nick. Earlier this month, it was Nick's birthday, and we were invited to celebrate at a party he was hosting. I'm a lightweight drinker, but Nick insisted that I drink with him, and kept on giving me more alcohol. I ended up getting so drunk I can barely even remember most of the night. The last thing I remember was laughing with Nick. I remember our conversation and interactions being completely platonic. My husband drove me home, and the next day he told me I was so drunk that night I was barely even conscious. I was incredibly embarrassed and tried to forget about it. The day after the party, I started experiencing pain in my stomach, and my husband said it was probably just a hangover. This pain continued to appear for a week, and I decided to go to the doctor after I started bleeding even when I wasn't on my period. I got tested, and found out that I contracted chlamydia. My husband was enraged with me. He accused me of cheating with Nick and started calling me a whore who only married him for his money. He also got tested for chlamydia, and ended up testing negative. He says that's proof that I must have slept with Nick. I tried asking for advice on Reddit and ended up getting lots of comments saying that it wasn't possible to get symptoms of chlamydia after only one day. Someone commented that it was possible that he was the one cheating on me, catching the disease from another woman and transmitting it to me, and secretly getting treated for it. There's also the more optimistic option that I had the disease for years and it's been dormant until now, but I don't think it's very likely. I confronted my husband about any secrets he was be hiding. He blew up at me saying I was trying to avoid responsibility for my own action. I explained that chlamydia doesn't show up for at least a week after, and he said that only proved that I'd actually been cheating for much longer. He said I was already disrespecting his boundaries by hanging out with Nick, despite his opposition. If he personally had a problem with Nick, then I would have stopped talking to him. But this is literally his best friend we're talking about here. He has countless female friends, none of whom I have ever objected to. I said he was acting suspiciously paranoid over something as simple as his best friend and his wife getting along, and he was probably projecting his own guilt onto my platonic friendship with Nick. He said I was acting insane and was trying to gaslight him into being the villain when I was the one who cheated. TL, DR, I got blackout drunk with my husband's best friend and tested positive for chlamydia. I found out that it wasn't possible to get chlamydia symptoms after one day and accused my husband of cheating on me and giving me chlamydia. AITA? AITA?